I was originally going to present these in do, to you in the form of a slideshow, but I can't seem to get Kino to expand the timeline. Understand this is the first time I've ever worked with it. What I'm about to show you is a bunch of pictures that I took on my summer vacation. And what I would like you to tell me from these photos is whether or not you feel that I could benefit from a des digital SLR. I cannot give you the exact um, aperture, ISO settings, um, and whatnot because those can only be accessed through the camera itself and the camera is unfortunately in need of replacing for those of you who have not seen this please take a look at my video camera problems and you'll see what's going on anyway um i am going to now show you again some photos that i took and i would like you to take a look at them and tell me what you think of them and whether or not i could benefit from a digital slr and i will be back at the end to show you some of the models that I have planned. Um, the sound might not be as good in the second half and that's only because when I recorded it I forgot to put on my headset microphone so you may want to turn your volume up to hear me, okay? In the meantime, um, take a look at these photos and let me know what you think. There's going to be no music or anything because I do not want to be taken down for copyright infringement or anything like that. Um, these photos were all taken by me using the Canon PowerShot SX10IS, that's a super zoom camera. And again, these were all in a manual mode. I cannot give you the exact settings for each photo because, again, I'd have to access the camera itself, and that's out of commission right now. So enjoy. And if you want to, at any time, you may pause the video to take a closer look at these. This one, I think, might be a little bit dark. You may notice some light reflection. Unfortunately, I was not able to compensate for that because of the glass in front of me and the lighting up above. And if there was a way I could compensate for that, please let me know because I would like to learn. And again, feel free to pause if you would like to. This again is thanks to the glass. There is no water on the lens in case anybody's wondering. I also apologize if my timing's uneven with some of these photos. But again, that's why I said for you to go back and pause and take a look at them that way. So for those of you who have lost track, we've left the Georgia Aquarium and we are now at the Carter Center.
This one, unfortunately, um, I took it in portrait, and I'm not exactly sure how to rotate it in Kino. And these are all of them. Um, again, you can pause, go back, take a look at the photos again. Let me, let me know what you think, and I will be back in a second to, um, to talk about the cameras that I'm interested in. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. And ha Now that you've seen some of my uh, pictures, I'm curious if um, on which digital SLR to buy. Now let me explain. I, t I said earlier that I was not thinking about a digital SLR, but somebody had recommended the T2i, and I sat down, and I thought, and I thought, and I decided that maybe an entry level or maybe a step above entry level digital SLR maybe not, may not be such a bad idea. Um, let's take a look at the potential suspects. The Sony Alpha 33 um, the thing that I like about the Alpha 33 is the smaller size because there is no secondary mirror and there's no flip mechanism for the mirror because the primary mirror that's behind the lens, that's translucent, okay? That actually um, allows for a much smaller body and much quicker, um, much quicker shutter speeds. The other one I'm looking at is the Nikon D3100. Now, before anybody gets after me, yes, I know it's pronounced Nikon here in the United States, but that's not where they—that's not how they pronounce it in a lot of other places in the world, including Japan, I believe, which is where their home is. And also the Canon EOS T2i. Um, a friend of mine's actually considering this one, but uh, perhaps there's a model or two that I hadn't considered. Um, the catch with with a digital SLR, I feel, is they're not necessarily updated every single year. They may be moved down in the range, say from top end to bottom end, and then once they're, they're at the very bottom end, it's been at least three or four years and they're about to be replaced. But um, that's not what concerns me. What concerns me is being locked into a system, because once I get the body, in a sense, I'm stuck with those sorts of lenses or manufacturers that would manufacture lenses compatible with the Sony Alpha mount or the uh, Nikkor mount or the Canon, um, whatever mount uh, Canon uses. I can't remember the name offhand. But that's the big thing. Basically, you know, it's not the lens, it's not necessarily the body that's important. I mean, yes, it is, but the lenses are much more important. So what I'm curious about is based on the pictures that you've seen, do you think I should go with another high? Should I go with a high-end point and shoot, or do you think I could benefit from a DSLR? Typically, what I shoot lately has been landscapes, or whenever I go on tour someplace, I usually have a bit of a shutter bug. I've been clicking every um, my camera at every uh, major piece that I felt would be interesting to capture. For example, I was at the Carter Center. You saw some of those pictures. Um, that's usually what I like to do is I like to go around and take a look and you know anything that seems interesting and in those dimly lit areas I can s definitely see the benefit of an entry level digital SLR um, and also it'd be less cumbersome to travel with if I were to disconnect the lens before travel which is more than likely what I would do anyway um, so what do you think? Do you think I'm ready for a DSLR or should I stick to a high-end point-and-shoot um, enthusiast compact um, and also, what do you think of the pictures? I'd like to hear your thoughts on those. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Again, I do apologize for the music, uh, the lack of music, but, um, unfortunately, I'm not about, you know, I'm not about to get buzzed for copyright infringement, so I'm not about to put any music, so there's a, there was a bit of a silence slideshow there, um, so I do apologize, but I wanted to give you guys plenty of time to take in the photos and tell me what you think. All right, I'm gonna hush up, I'm gonna hush up, and I'll talk to you later, all right? Thank you for watching.
Comments are welcome. See ya.